Peace and grand rising. Breaking news, baby. Breaking news. Breaking news. Um, Mitch is out. Mitch is out, man. I'm getting notifications and everything about this. <laughs> Mitch is out. And so now it's about um, who will be coming in. We did. Um, we've been watching this since uh, the new ownership came. We've been speaking on it really for months, actually, on here on the BTW, uh, that Mitch will be out of here. And it looks like he is. So the only question left now is, OK, who replace him? You know, it is clear now, as I alluded to a few days ago, that Mitch wasn't calling the shots at the trade deadline. <laughs> He wasn't. He wasn't calling the shots. That was Rick calling the shots at the trade deadline. And I kind of mentioned it and I said, uh, this has a shadow GM feel to it. I kind of mentioned that um, tongue in cheek, but seriously as well, uh, that I uh, it just didn't have the energy, Mitch's energy. Mitch never makes those kind of moves on um, the trade deadline. And the moves that were made, pretty much almost swept away everything Mitch has brought to the Hornets in terms of picks and everything. You know, and I believe that that will continue in the off season. Um, this team is about to be drastically different. It's about to be under new leadership. Um, and with new leadership comes a new vision. This is something I've been saying for months for us here to be on the watch for. Whenever there's a turnover in leadership, there's also a turnover in vision. Rarely do the same thing stay in place when new leadership comes on. You know, especially spank brand new leadership. Now, if it's a situation where it's like a successor type situation, let's say the son is taking over from the father, things will tend to kind of stay the same. But even in that dynamic, the son makes maybe more minor changes to differentiate himself from the father. But when you got a whole new regime coming in, they want to make their mark on the team, especially to the tune of $3 billion, you know. So I'm not surprised at all. Uh, Mitch was uh, Mitch was on the clock. You know, we've said it here at the BTW. Chief has said it. People in the chat have said it here. Um, Mitch is on the clock. He has moved over into an advisory role, which is something we had said. We did not believe that he would be like outright fired. We thought, and it's spoken on here. You can check the receipts. They're all throughout this, this platform. We thought they would move over into more of a, you know, they say advisory role, whatever, whatever they, this is, this is how they give you a polite firing. <laughs> because when you are in that, what advisory role, that means you're just there. You can say a few things and, Ultimately, your decision, the decisions aren't yours. You're just there to, quote unquote, advise. So he'll advise and that's it, you know. So you so they decide to keep him within the framework or the organization, but more of a uh, behind the scenes where he's not making executive decisions. I found it interesting. Again, I mentioned this on my live stream yesterday um, that Mitch, that when we saw the press conference after the trade, Mitch was in Barcelona uh, scouting James Najee, if I pronounce his name right, forgive me. And the Charlotte Hornets PR released a picture of Rick Snaw welcoming Grant Williams and Seth Curry into the fold. <laughs> Optics like that matter. People don't think it do. You know, isn't it, it, it is not that I am some um, no, it's not. It is. Is it is not that I'm some great <laughs> seer, or whatever. No, there's certain things that you look for. The small things speak the loudest. I say this all the time. Certain things give you signals on where this team is going. And Gabe and Rick have been sending out signals since they began what their intent is for this team. But in this. But because it's in the world of GMs and ownership, they're not going to outright say that after the trade deadline, we're going to let Mitch go. You know, they're not going to say that. But their words, the PR, the tone of what they say, that dictates everything. Buzz Peterson, not Buzz Peterson, Jeff Peterson has been talked about uh, a few times on this platform 
as being the um, uh, replacement for Mitch Kupchak. It was actually reported by Jake early on that it would be him, although now you're hearing about Elton Brand, you're hearing about uh, Langdon, which also in this chat, Langdon's name has come up in a few live streams. You know, so we're on it over here. We've been already looking for things. You know, uh, Jeff Peterson is um, one of Rick's guys. I believe that he'll have first dibs. We'll see if he takes it. You know, Elton Brand, Langdon is more on the Duke side of it. But I actually believe, and I'm hoping this happens, I don't think Rick Snow, I don't think those guys are there to placate to this Carolina type family connect. I think they're in the process of breaking that up. If people from Carolina happen to be a part of everything, that's cool. But Rick, as you know, Juju said on our live stream a few days ago, a couple of times actually, new GMs, new leaders are going to bring their people in. Relationships matter as I close this out. Relationships matter now. Relationships matter. So you can go with an Elton brand that they don't have no connection to, or you can go with a Peterson or any others in within his family, right? Within his circle. There's a tendency to bring those people in. <laughs> There's a tendency to bring those people in. I'm curious to see now that Mitch is gone. Will they do a similar thing for Steve Clifford or will he be outright just kind of dismissed? I am hoping that they do something similar for Steve Clifford because he did do Mitch a solid uh, to help save face when Kenny Atkinson bailed on the Hornets at the last minute. What we shall see, because now everything is new. Everything that Mitch has said is irrelevant. In terms of the offseason, now, as I close, it's going to get very interesting with Miles Bridges because now, as I have said, if Miles stays past the trade deadline, he will be have to, him and Rich Paul will be negotiating with a new GM, right? A new GM that doesn't have the same ties to Miles as Mitch because Mitch picked him. The new GM don't have those same ties. So we're going to see now how the tone of the negotiations go. Whereas maybe it was a slam dunk that Miles be resigned, maybe more of a deal of Miles Bridges liking. This new GM may not have the same ideas, right? He may not. And depending on what signals he received from Rick, will tell us if Miles will make it through. I'm not yet convinced. You know, I was I was hoping, yeah, yeah, but no. But we'll see. We'll do more of a thing. We'll do more of a talk on this when I go live. But I wanted to just put this out there right away and everything. Um, shout out to Flight Sports. He said, I need to do more of these type of videos anyway. So I'm taking you up on your advice, Flight. This has been Chief Bartran. Bartran is the world. Be sure you subscribe to, um, this is the Tribe Buzz uh, for Charlotte Hornets uh, content. It'll be under the Tribe Buzz umbrella, although there's there's other content as well. Uh, the Metal Ball content, team streams, as well as general NBA content is on this channel. So it is not an exclusive Charlotte Hornets uh, channel, but we do focus on the Hornets here because of all the things that is happening here for the Hornets. Thank you very much. This has been Chief Bartrin. Peace.